We finally got some tour press reports yesterday, so let me just put them to what I shot. In yesterday's piece, I showed you Kirishima fighting Shonan no Umi, which finished 6 0. After that, with less breath, Shima chose to spar with Hiradomi, going 2 and 2. I've gained confidence from that, puffed Hirado. You saw me striking well and constantly on the attack. It was his second Ozeki test of this tour. He was called out by Horshoryu on December 9th, on the first of two tour dates in his native Nagasaki. And boy are the locals cheering me louder these days, Hirado remarked. It gives me extra strength for sure. Also throwing himself about was fellow youthful force Atami Fuji, who fought four bouts in East Hiroshima against the likes of Meisei and Ryuden, scoring wins against both. He's keen to get lots of practice bouts in, even in crowded Dohyo conditions. As the situation demands it, he's up against all the biggest names for the first time in just under a month. Obviously in January I want to stay true to the Adami Fuji way, he said of the type of sumo he pictures fighting. But don't get me started on weak points right now. My hips are too high, I can't drive forward. If I list them all I'll never stop talking. Let me just try to work on them during this tour. Kirishima, who also steps into the unknown next month when he bids for Yokozuna, said this of yesterday's practice session. Those were my first practice bouts for some time, so I felt a little stiffness, but that should go away in the coming days as I train hard to build myself back up. Honestly, I'm a bit behind schedule due to those sessions I missed with throat trouble. He may be feeling better right now, but many wrestlers are coughing these days. Not to mention hordes of fans. Cough medicine stocks are running low, so we hear from various sources. Take care, brave wrestlers, for the tour's final week. At this point, let's bring in Mitsuru Yaku, the manga artist who has watched Sumo for nigh on 60 years and is an influential media voice. He was asked to assess the likelihood of Yokozuna promotions next year. In an interview with Kordansha's Friday magazine, he said of Takakesho, He's not afraid to mention the Yokozuna word, but I think it's only to spur himself on. I don't see at all how the wider world can be thinking he'll make Yokozuna. Cruelly exposed in November, I felt, was the loss of the ability that once made us hope he could reach the top. His neck condition is far from good, and no longer allows him to do that explosive sumo of yore. Yes, he picks up the odd title still, but I think his road ends at Ozeki. On Horshoryu, he went on to say, if he relies on flexibility and the spring in his legs, he'll be doing more than alright. But he pins too much on throws right now, which of course is laden with risk. You're constantly worried he'll get injured. Bottom line, he's just not Yokozuna level yet. As things stand, there's no way either he or Takakesho reaches the highest rank. Kirishima, he doesn't mention at all, save in comparison with Kotono Waka. My biggest hopes are placed in the latter, Mr. Yaku declared. Come the second half of 2024, I expect Kotono Waka to be bidding for the white rope. In terms of solidity, stance and technique, 
there's a case for saying he's above even Kirishima. A Yokozuna push from him will really excite the fans overall. And Yaku ends with praise for Atami Fuji. His toughest ever set of opponents will give us the chance to see where he's really at. His technical deficiencies were laid bare in that November bout with Kirishima. And we also saw him tense up in that bout to a surprising degree. But that's just down to his tender years. He's already got a superb sumo base. Despite those long legs, he's mastered the forward leaning stance and doesn't get stood up at all. And you feel he can only grow. Off the dohyo, Georgian legend Tochinoshin has staged a second wine tasting event, just a stone's throw from Ryogoku. I'm sorry I couldn't get there this time, I was on the train to Hiroshima. Tochi has also unveiled two new labels to be used on wine bottles commemorating his upcoming retirement ceremony. That's now just 50 days away. There are still so few places that stock or serve Georgian wine in Japan, said the hulking winemaker's son in his latest interview with JB Press magazine. It's got history, it's got individuality, it's delicious, it's on my Georgian doorstep, so I want lots of Japanese to enjoy it, he said of his reasons for switching profession. One of his former rivals, though, has declared his renewed intent not to follow him out of the sumo exit door. Ex-Yokozuna Kakuryu went to Atami Fuji's ex-high school yesterday to sign up Yuto Shirasaka, a promising third-year wrestler. For now, Shirasaka will train directly under him at Michinoku Stable, which Kakuryu likely will not inherit next year. This man's name has instead been mentioned for that. However, the 38-year-old said, Whatever happens, I'll be branching off and starting my own stable. With Shirasaka, therefore, his first recruit. Kakuryu doesn't yet have official elder stock. He must buy some within 27 months before his Yokozuna stock expires. Either then his comment is Takakesho style self spurring on, or he's fairly sure something is lined up. <laughs>